Hi, I'm Ms. Nagy here at Hermitage High School. This is my VA US History class, and today we are going to play a role-playing game on Western Expansion. Okay, so, uh, remember, throughout your roles, you guys all have one advocate, and that's me. I'm your Congress representative. So each and every one of you has one play, which is to come and petition me. And I've talked to you all about how to do that. Um, but basically, what we're doing today is we are going to be building the railroad across America. We're all going to be working across the classroom to do that. Um, and so in the back of the room, I have my owners, my captains of industry. We have Nick, who is going to be running the entire show for us. And Nick has graciously, since he is the founder and CEO of the B&O Railroad, he has graciously offered workers $5 a week to begin building what will be a historic, <laughs> monumental piece of American history. So what I'm going to have you guys start doing is get started on building the railroad. So you guys have your paper clips. So you only have one box right now because times is hard and we don't have a ton of resources to build them. But hopefully as that grows, we will have more resources to build more of the railroads across the country. Check their progress and just be like. <laughs> Good. Good. Just like this the entire time I wouldn't be like looking like you're talking to each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. I need some more um paper clips. Thank you. All right, my captains, what are you thinking? How are they doing so far? Uh, they're doing good. They're doing good? Yeah. Doing you think, what are you thinking? You think that they deserve a raise yet? Nah. Nah? You, but they deserve the $5, right? Nah, I need to go You think so? So like what? I'm going to say 450 450 Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll lower it to 450 then. Is there anything that they can do to be improving? What do you think? What do you want to see? This is your business. Hmm. Have more teamwork. That's more teamwork. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Your railroad owner wants to see a little bit more teamwork. I don't think we've done quite enough to get more resources yet. Oh, maybe. Maybe we got something working here. All right. So I think we should do this. Look at this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good. 
All right, I think you've done enough to open up a few more resource mines. The paper clips need to be attached to each other. Yeah. yeah. So you, you can't lay them across each other. They have to be. You can pin them up. You got but they still attack, so they got a little something, something going on. Yeah. Look at this teamwork. Y'all want to check out the teamwork? Yeah, you, you can all check out. You, you guys are the owners. And and our, our pay got cut. That's all I'm saying. So I think it. Yeah, we will have to talk about it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, this ain't right. This is not about to matter. Do you wanna you wanna try to get our our week to? Okay, I like to that get one. that one. We need to make I like it. that one longer because they don't yeah. even touch the star. Let's do a little something something more. Hell, I got some more. All right, what are you thinking now? Do you think 450 still a fair wage? No. Mm, yeah, I think it's fair, but. It seems like our uh, steel is getting a little expensive. Steel's getting expensive. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I hear you there. So what do you think we should do? Uh, I think we should lower the uh, wages so we can keep that uh, amount of steel right there. You think, wages. all right, lower the wages again? Actually, um, what, what do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Uh, do y'all want to petition? I want to petition. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Do I got three petitioners? Yeah. OK. All right, so. Uh, Captains, we got a problem because my constituents don't appreciate you penny pinching them. You know, they're they're very modest people. They're trying to build this country. They're trying to make this country great, trying to expand our great nation. And I just can't let this happen. So I'm I'm thinking about maybe setting a minimum wage to what, maybe like five dollars? Uh, Something like that, six dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd probably be fair. Ooh, we're halfway across the country. Halfway across the country. And we didn't even need more steel. We were given more steel. Yeah, that would only be fair. Except, you know, it, the steel really is expensive. Yeah, good. So I'm going to go ahead and lower. I'm going to allow them to lower the wages to, let's say, 375. Is it fair? Okay, yeah, go ahead and lower it to 375 for me. Can't even get the organ with that. Look, wait, we should all sit down with our arms Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we could, like, show that we're not doing anything. <laughs> we got to make it very exaggerated, kind of like. Y'all <laughs> 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 okay over here? What's going on? Uh, What's happening? Use the bill. Why? <laughs> We're getting paid three seventy five. We're halfway across the country. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And you know, uh, honestly, these hardworking CEOs are really just trying to do everything they can to you know. <laughs> you should be happy with that. No. You know what else no. is hardworking? America. We, we represent America. Y'all, I think something I think we got a problem over here. We might have a we might have a leader over here. Yeah. Yeah. This is Hold on. Hold on. outrageous. You'll say in a second. Okay. I do not like this. And I say that this railroad is so stupid and <laughs> We should unbuild it. Unbuild it? So here's the problem. You guys haven't been building for a while. And we put a lot of money into this railroad. A lot of money, a lot of effort in this money. And uh, you guys haven't been doing your job, mm -hmm. and you're just kind of sitting there talking about it. And the problem is, when we have all this money in here, uh, and the corporation isn't paying out, people are losing money, right? People are losing stock money, and a lot of people are going to be running to the banks to get their money out. Did we just cause a depression? Yeah. You caught you caused a depression, and you're going to cause a you're going to cause a little bit of inflation. And I'm sorry, but this is on you. Um, and because of the inflation, your real-time wages are now going to go to. I knew it. I'll say. Oh, she's showing. What is that? I would say two dollars and three cents a week. But that's on y'all. You know what I mean? That's that's really like if you had been really working and if you'd really been investing in the railroads like you should have. Like as good Americans, we need, then this wouldn't happen. We need three people to uh, raise our hands here. 
Um, I'd like to petition Congress. You want to petition Congress? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. I'm listening. Okay. So, there are some arguments to say that this was caused by the workers uh, and that we have mm -hmm. caused this, but the real issue was that our wages have been lowered since the get-go. We built halfway across the country. We have two lines, not just one snaking. We have two lines. And we are not only just losing money by putting in more work, but then we lose money by trying to stand up for ourselves. They're making a lot of sense. They're making a lot of sense to me right now. A lot of He's, you know, he's right. <laughs> he is right. The, the, what is safer in this country than working for the railroad in the 1800s? <laughs> everything, literally everything. It's a very dangerous job. So we're kind of at an impasse right now. So you're petitioning? We are petitioning. What would you like to petition for? We would just like to set a minimum wage of no lower than $4. That seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. I mean, I I have to, I mean, look at all my constituents, my hardworking, tax-paying constituents, voting constituents that are... Yes. If you feel like you should cut our ways, then build it yourself. If you want a real world done, build it yourself. Hey, I hear you. I hear you. I hear both of you. You guys all have great points. Um, I'm going to sit over here and count my silver. Um, that doesn't look as much as last time. Because I'm going to, yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, that's really. Apologies. Uh, I'm gonna that, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, make it a little bit more in there. <laughs> okay. Wow, is that really? Yeah, I'm not setting a minimum wage law. Not setting it. Because they're paying her money. They just gave her a price. Oh! Look, I'm just doing honest business with honest men who may be rewarding me for my patronage in the railroad industry. You know, they, they might have all that money, but money goes dry, doesn't it? The well of prosperity yeah, they do. It's not forever. Yes. You know what will really cut it? You know what also can go dry? Your paycheck. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm experiencing that right now. So you guys do have one last option you could do. Which is? Burn them down. Burn them down. Burn them down. Burn them down. Is that is that your call to strike? Okay. Do you want to discuss if you guys want to strike? So because you need the majority of you to be able to ha perform a successful strike. And then I'm gonna turn to them first. Okay. Yeah. All right, what are you thinking? I say we strike. We strike. strike? Stand up if you're striking. Okay. We got a majority. We got a majority striking. And so now you really don't have anyone working for you. And we are probably going to cause another depression if we don't act quickly. Yeah, so right. what do you guys think? Are you going to are you gonna raise, raise their wages? No, still they're all striking. What are you gonna do? <laughs> we can deconstruct the railroad. I mean, that's okay for us to do. What do you? Who's gonna? Who's gonna build your railroad? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Them? What? How are they supposed to build your railroad? Are they, you think you think that they're gonna work for two dollars and three cents a week? What? I can't even feed my kids. Yeah. We're starving. <laughs> how can you look at a person yeah. and see that their kids is starving? starving. Um, what are we supposed to do? I you see the bones. Are y'all? I walk to this railroad. My Shame. feet, I have no shoes. Two dollars and three cents cannot support me. I ate her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were nasty. Let me ask y'all. Are y'all willing to work for these wages? 
Let us talk about yes. it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I hear a yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah? Why are you guys willing to work for such little wages? Who are you guys? We have no money. You're what? We're broke. You're, you can say it now. Oh, we're immigrants. Yeah. Immigrants. Y'all, this is, this is a problem. Because we got all these immigrants over here willing to take your jobs now. So go ahead. Immigrants. Take over. Striking workers, come over here. Wait, can we fix this? Hold on, we, you have something new now. Switch, switch out, switch out. Yeah, switch out. What was happening every time you guys were trying to petition me? You weren't allowing us to. Why not? Because you've been paid out. I've been paid out, okay? I've been paid out. So we are getting into this era called the Gilded Age, eventually, and there's a lot of corruption, and there's a lot of big business, and there's a lot of issues with Congress, actually being paid off by these big businessmen who are eventually called robber barons uh, and that causes a lot of problems right however the government being the benevolent uh representatives that we are we have a plan for you we're going to pass the homestead act and you guys are going to get to move west yes. but it's hard right so what you're going to do is one at a time you're going to roll the die of fate and i will tell you what your fate is going to be when you move west oh no not this is does anyone want to go first? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and roll. Let me see. Four. You have died of dysentery. No! <laughs> All right, get another one. All right, let's see. Six. You have been killed by Native Americans after they witnessed you eating their precious, precious <laughs> buffalo along your caravan route. Are you hungry? I don't want to roll. You don't want to roll? All right. I don't want to die. <laughs> I think they all have something to do with The land that you were given was completely infertile. After two years of your terrible harvest, you found a job working for the same big time farming corporation that bought your land years ago. You make $2 a week, but who knows? Maybe you'll make your way up to middle management. So Layla worked out. Anyone else want to go? Yeah, I think I'm All right. <laughs> now, I will say there is one role that you can have to strike gold. Ooh. Ooh. Is it nice? Snake eye. Strike gold. <laughs> <laughs> I really like gambling, but also. Say, right got, yeah, you can roll right here. <laughs> Yeah, same. The land you were given is completely infertile. After two years of terrible harvest, you found a job working for the same big time corporation that bought your land years ago. You make $2 a week, which is a little bit less, but you know, you're, you're farming again. Get a little luck, get a little luck on that. Yes, go, my boy. I thought he didn't want to strike the gold. You got this. Let's go! Remember, during this time, we are starting this era. It's called Manifest Destiny, where uh, Jefferson starts this idea that it is our destiny to move west. And the only way that we can do that is through railroads, through caravans, and through the promise of possibly striking gold, just like the California Gold Rush of 1849. That's like the 49ers NFL team. That's why they're called that. But the only way that that's possible, again, is if we have the railroad industry. And so that's going to have a lot of ups and downs, both because of financial crises, um, inflation, riots, and strikes. Y'all like that? Did you like the game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you did? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Go, 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 go.